Hey guys, Mark Allen, BH Spring Solutions LLC and BHSpringSolutions.com, and we have some extended High Power University session about the Springfield SA35. It's uh, middle March, March 15th, 2022, and see, we're about uh, December, four months post introduction of the SA35 and, and our uh, initial 11 sessions that we did about the Springfield, and to date, we have moved through and out approximately 10 uh, Springfield SA35s out of the B, uh, BH Custom Shop Service Department, and we have more uh, behind those in, the, uh, in, in, in line now as I speak. But we wanted to share a couple of things. This is one of our customers. His name is also Mark, and uh, he made some seriously beautiful selections for his SA35. We just got done... Uh, test firing this uh, a little while ago and um, the prescription that we prescribed um, back in that 11 sessions of the uh, frame slide deburring the extractor channel deburring and some of the uh, uh, replacement parts this has been producing just absolute consistency um, uh, we could not be frankly happier um, these are more work they you know there's some uh, there's some deburring time and uh, some things that need cleaned up and and so forth but um, but you know having that uh, having that prescription all all lined up has just proven to be just just uh, very helpful we've discovered something new that we could not have discovered during our initial 11 sessions and I'm going to show you what and this really looks ugly doesn't it what you're looking at here, we're going to do our best to explain it, is the front of the slide, that's the front dovetail in an SA35. They're all um, assembled and put together in the same way, and it's a little different than it was done uh, in Belgium at FN Browning and some of the other uh, high-power clone makers. And I want to explain what we're talking about here specifically. In the front of the high-power slide, you have a barrel bushing. Uh, I call that barrel bushing the eighth wonder of the world because the barrel bushing essentially has a couple of jobs. Uh, one job it has, and this is a uh, this is a uh, BH Advanced 11 degree crown uh, Elite Expert barrel. You're going to see how snug and nice that just fits all the way around there. That's the way you want a barrel to fit, basically, in a uh, in a high power uh, slide bushing. Um, the slide bushing is such a, uh, a barrel bushing or slide guide, whichever one you want to use. Um, we call it the eighth wonder of the world because along with having that type of a relationship when the uh, barrel is parallel to the slide, or we'd say horizontal, it also must be able to unlock, tilt during cycling, and then finally it needs to be able to come out at an angle and it needs to actually go in at an angle. So this, this bushing inside here, um, all the way around, it is just um, a brutal kind of an angle to machine perfectly and, uh, and to do well. Um, and I have to tell you, um, this is this is one place where, uh, at least in the pistols that we've tested, and we've been seeing, um, it 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 seems like the Springfields, especially with the BH Advanced Barrel, it's a very impressive uh, relationship with the uh, with the barrel. Now, Springfield did something a little different here, and we're going to explain what that is. This is actually the barrel slide guide, or the barrel bushing, or slide bushing, if you want to uh, take your choice of of those. In uh, the original design that was made in Belgium, this is a, you'd say, a pressed-in uh, part and soldered um, to be kind of somewhat made permanent. This one appears, from what we're able to see and, and tell so far, this is a threaded barrel bushing that is screwed in. And what that ugly stuff was you saw in the uh, picture, that is... Um, something coming out of the threads after an acetone bath before uh, a refinish is done uh, before we do a refinish um, 
all residual oils and greases in the steel and in and around as an example that barrel bushing also in and around that uh, locking lug cam it looks like a crossbar sometimes you can see the outline of the uh, of the part and it's kind of right there if it shows up but that that bar goes across it's just above the trigger sub assembly those are parts made separate from the frame separate from the slide that are then installed and intended to be permanent when you put the SA35 slide into the acetone bath this is some kind of thread locker that was used to thread lock that barrel bushing at the time that it was uh, the time that it was screwed in and installed when it encounters um, an acetone bath which again that's to get any residual oils and greases out of the steel because if you have any of that going on in the steel you're not going to get good adherence of any uh, type of metal coating and believe it or not a couple days after it didn't look like this when it first came out of the acetone but a couple of days later it had evolved to this and um and uh that then gets uh media blasted again and acetone bath again and that continues until this stops because obviously we're not going to get a very good uh, metal coating over something that looks like that we've not encountered this before in any high power so from what we're seeing so far this appears to be so far unique to the Springfield SA35. We've not had a, a Gersan MCP35 into an acetone bath yet, so we can't really say. But um, this is um, this is definitely uh, a unique thing. It's n nothing insurmountable, and it's not nearly as uh, <laughs> bad as it looks. Uh, although in person it looks ugly too. Uh, but uh, this does stop eventually this will get this got media blasted out and um and uh and uh, re-acetone bath and then this this does eventually stop then it's okay to do a uh, a nice metal coating over it and our bh veteran who um, had this work done on his S sa35 i have to tell you he can be very very proud um, he got uh, BH heirloom grade master's grips, uh, safety fast shooting system. So you pull the safety off, you're ready to fire. You put up back up on safe, just like you just saw. And um, carry like this, extended slide stop, gold plated BH advanced um, trigger sub assembly. Um, and just, just uh, BH advanced uh, 11 degree crown barrel buffering guide rod. Um, and all the SA35, uh, you know, betterments or fixes that we uh, prescribed in High Power University. And we're just excited. And I know he is because we just sent him pictures of his own gun to show him uh, what a, what a uh, masterpieceful looking uh, Springfield SA35 he has now. So, folks, thanks for watching this extended coverage of the Springfield SA35 Evaluation and Analysis by BH Spring Solutions, LLC. And I am Mark Allen for my partner, Slav Baruchiev. Thank you for watching High Power University.